Hey, what is up ladies and gentlemen, it's Cody Carpenter here from the YouTube channel Cody Knows and in this video I'm going to show you how you can place a Facebook pixel into your ClickBank account so you can track, initiate checkout and purchases with your Facebook pixel. And to do this it is super simple, um, you'll just go to your ClickBank account and I'll, oops, I'll have to log in again. As you can see, I do have a few ClickBank accounts. This is one that I just set up for these example purposes. So once you're logged into your ClickBank account, you come and click Vendor Settings. And then you scroll down here to the Integrated Sales Reporting. And then you click on Add Tracking Code. Now right away, you'll have to choose Facebook Pixel and then click Add. And then all you have to do is go over to your Facebook ads account and grab the pixel ID number. And I will show you exactly where that is. So once you log into your business manager account, go to events manager. And then this is the page it will take you to. And then right here under the name of your pixel will be your pixel ID. And then you can just click on it and it will copy it to your clipboard. So then we'll just come right on over here and paste that bad boy in there. And then we will track as an affiliate and we will where to fire. Uh, first of all, we'll do order form and then save. And what the order form is, so if you send someone to your landing page, they click through to the ClickBank offer and then they click the order now, they'll go to the order form page. And then Facebook will track and initiate checkout with your Facebook pixel. So I'm going to save that. So we have the initiate checkout. Now we're going to add another one. And same same thing, Facebook pixel, pixel ID, paste that in there. Track as an affiliate and then confirmation page and then uh, fate or ClickBank will let you track purchases with your Facebook pixel. Now we will click save. And as simple as it's literally as simple as that. That took what 2 minutes to do and now you can track easily. Um, one last step we have to do is come and click this little uh, triangle thing right here, enable tracking code. And that's active and then right here. And now they're both active and I'm gonna show you how you can test to see if this is working properly. So we will go to marketplace and one thing to keep in mind is that these pixels will fire on any uh, order form. So let's do the Ted's Word Woodworking one because that is the campaign that I'm going to be setting up in the next couple videos. Um, let's just go promote, generate hop link, and then we'll go to this. And remember the last three digits of our pixel ID is 868. Okay, so this is the Ted's Woodworking sales page and the, we clicked on our affiliate link to get here. So now we'll go add to cart. Secure checkout and remember when we installed the Facebook Pixel Helper a few videos back, um, simply just go to Google, type in Facebook Pixel Helper and that will show up. And let's zoom in on it and it says 868 so that is ours 868 starts with 265 starts with 265 that's our pixel initiate checkout so that's awesome that means it's working correctly and that will fire in our Facebook pixel section um, an affiliate ebook crook is my username for this uh, for this at or Clickbank account and then if I went and did pay now um, it would also track purchase but I'm not gonna buy this because I don't want to spend 67 bucks on it um, and what I meant earlier is that it'll fire on any Clickbank order form page let's go to Cinderella solution and uh, generate a hop link copy or just go to it um, uh, I'll do prefer to read and then go to the bottom Where is it? where's the order now button okay there it is oh my god order now 
and then we will zoom in again and it's the same two six five eight six eight so that's our pixel two and that brings up a slight problem because if you want to run uh, multiple campaigns for multiple offers you'll have to create separate clickbank accounts because like i said this is a global facebook pixel placement that we just did in our vendor settings option here so every single one of these offers will result in that pixel firing so in the previous videos we've been setting up this campaign for ted's woodworking so i'd want to have one clickbank account dedicated to ted's woodworking okay so that is it that's how simple it is to place a facebook pixel onto the clickbank order form and confirmation page so i hope you enjoyed the video if you are not subscribed to my channel smack that subscribe button and that notification bell to stay up to date with all my future videos and i'll see you in the next one Peace.